Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another home project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take a plain piece of pegboard and add a large frame. So I made this pegboard, my mom and I made it. <laughs> completely by ourselves with a miter saw, my bread, gun, and a few other tools, but it's a very simple project, very beginner level, and you can use it completely custom, however big you need it, however small you need it, and the frame just really adds a nice touch. So I'm gonna be showing you how to cut it, how to install it, how to make it. So if you want to see that project, stay tuned. Obviously, I am using this one in my craft room um, as a Cricut pegboard. <laughs> I couldn't remember the word for pegboard for a second. As a Cricut pegboard, I have a similar one um, in my old craft room, but it didn't have the frame. This one is so much more elegant. I will leave a link to that post below, though, if you want to see other ways I've stored things on my pegboards. And then I did some really pretty metal pegboards in my laundry room build. Um, so if you want to see those, I will leave that link below. But essentially, pegboards are just a really good way to store lots of tools because they're so customizable. And I really like how this frame adds a little bit of detail to mine. So if you want to see how to build the pegboard? That's what we're doing in this video. I will be back in a different video to show you um, all the little gadgets and hooks and brackets and things on how to organize your pegboard um, because I still am waiting for a few pieces for this top part. So today we're going to jump right in to actually building the pegboard. Let's get started.
All right, y'all. I told you that was a pretty simple project as far as projects go. Now, we could have probably done the corners just a little better with an electric miter saw instead of a physical um, manual miter saw. But as you saw, wood glue fixes everything. So it looks perfect in the room and you can't even see, I was really worried about screwing through the face of the pegboard um, to secure it to that stud in the wall in that two by four but you can really hardly see those screws up there and it's sturdy. Like we have a lot of weight to put on this pegboard. I still have more things to hang on it. So while we want it to look fancy and elegant and the frame is a nice touch, we also at the end of the day need it to be super functional. So I hope this helps you to see how to make one of these for yourself and how to hang it. If you want to see all of the things I've put on it, I've got a few more coming. I will be doing that video shortly. I can't wait. I've already been using it. I love how all my tools are just one little step away when I'm working with my Cricut on my Cricut storage shelf here. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, turn on notifications, share it with your friends. I will be back next week with more house projects, more Cricut projects, more resin projects, all the projects, more Pandora videos. Y'all have been loving those lately. They're not related to house stuff at all, but go figure. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments. I'll do more of that. Bye, y'all.